Hey everyone and welcome to Mining Chamber. Today we will be covering the electricity part of mining cryptocurrency at home journey. We will figure how much watts our mining rigs need and we will figure how much we have so far to work with. And if there's any modifications that we need to do, we will plan that out and then from there we'll move forward. And just like our previous episode, we asked you guys to put in your opinions and concerns in the comment section below, which we will address right after the intro. Feel free to do it as well for this episode so we can address it in our next episode. We hope you guys enjoy the video. In our first episode, we were deciding to either pick the garage or the balcony. According to all the comments, it seems that the balcony will be the choice where we will be setting up our mining rigs. Which means we will have some really good temperatures because of the access to all the possible airflow. And now we just need to make sure that we have enough power in the room so that we will able to run all our rigs without tripping any breakers. And tripping a breaker means that you took more power than that outlet can provide, which then as a security measure, the breaker will trip so nothing burns down. Thank you everyone for leaving your comments in our previous episode. We hope that you will be able to learn something from this series, just like we do learn a lot from your comments. There are four outlets. One that is used by the air exhaust, which we can unplug. And then we have three that we will be naming one, two, and three. My worry is that those three outlets would be on the same breaker, which means if you drop power from the one on the right, then the one on the left will also be considered used. So a typical output would be 15 amps and 120 volts. To figure out how much watts it will give you, you will need to multiply the volts by the amps, which in this scenario would result into 1800 watts. So if one of our rigs uses 1200 watts, that means the second outlet will only have 600 left. But with the 80% rule, where you only use 80% of the power that is available for safety precautions, that means we have only 1440 watts in total. And now after the outlet on the right is drawing 1200 for the mining rig, that leaves us only with 240 watts available on the left outlet. Basically not usable for any other mining rigs. But on the bright side, after unplugging the exhaust, we noticed that it was not a regular 15 amp outlet. Instead, it was a 20 amps 220 volt outlet, which means we have a total of 4,400 watts. With the 80% rule, we have 3,520 watts that are usable for mining. So this plug in itself can run a lot of rigs, and now we have the other plugs that we can use without worrying of tripping any breakers if they are on the same circuit. Each house or apartment has the main electric panel, where you will be able to find all the breakers that connect around the house. On the panel itself, you'll most likely have a directory for the breakers and what room or outlet they belong to. You'll also find the number of the amps on the breaker itself. With our luck, we had an unfinished directory that was not clear at all. So we had to figure out which belongs to what by tripping off the breakers one by one and testing out all the outlets in the house. You can either test it with a phone charger, lamp, or the tool that we are using to detect a life outlet. If it beeps, that means there is electricity, and if it does not, then we successfully found a breaker that is related to the outlet. So if two outlets would not beep after we flip a breaker off, that means those two outlets will connect to that one breaker. So if it's a 15 amp breaker, then you have a total of 15 amps to use between those two outlets. Here are some tips to help you find the breaker belongs to what quicker. Home heating, if you live in places with cold weather, and you have dedicated heaters around the house, then they will most likely be on a 30 amp breaker. Appliances like your air conditioning, fridge, dishwasher, and laundry will be a minimum of 20 amps breaker. Stoves and ovens are most likely 40 amps. Now with that in mind, just sort through your main panel and try to eliminate all the ones that you already know what they belong for, and then make your way through to find the other ones. While we try to pin down which breaker belongs to which outlet, we route it down so we can have the directory for the future reference and you can do that either using paper and pen or on your computer. It is a tedious process but it will give you peace of mind once you want to run your mining rig. If anyone knows a quicker way to match each breaker to its location then please let us know in the comment section below. We could have not done it without the help that we received from the Red Panda Mining Discord server. They have a great active community and people that provide valuable knowledge. We do recommend everyone to join the server, so whenever you are in doubt, you can ask around and then I'm sure somebody will be able to help you. We will leave the link for that server in our description below. 
So now, let's see how much power we need for our mining rigs to run. We have three mining rigs, the five Radeon 7s, they consume about 1320 watts, the 8 RX 580s, which take about 1080 watts, and then the 4 GTX 1660 Ti's, which take only 460 watts. These numbers are after overclocking the cards and preparing them for mining, which means that there is a chance that the overclock would reset, then these numbers would spike up, that is why we need to be careful with the outlets and make sure that we give them room to breathe, in case of any situation like that. And that's where we apply the 80% rule. Although now we know that we have enough power in the balcony to power all of our mining rigs, we still plan on setting up one of the rigs in the filming space, so it can be a nice background to the videos. Also, if you find out that you don't have enough power to run your rigs, you can get in touch with an electrician and see how much it would cost you to install more amps in the desired area. In our next episode, we will be putting the rigs back together and having them running again. Please leave any questions or suggestions in the comment section below and then we can discuss it in our next video. Alright everyone, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. And like we mentioned before, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them in the comment section below and then we will cover it in our next episode where we will be reassembling the rigs and putting them back together.